Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliance's, visit www.alliances.com. Now, back to our super host, David Kogan, founder of Alliances. Well, thank you again, Money Radio. I do not want this morning to end because you know we feature heroes. That's right, those that are making their mark in the community, they're building businesses, they're inventing new products or services. And we just had the formerly co-owner that started Authorize.net, Ken Collis, who's now the CEO of TLK Fusion, working with major brands and celebrities, including the Kardashians, Ryan Seacrest, and more. And before I introduce our next hero, who is John Fisher, the CEO of Founder Crowd Optic, make sure you continue to listen because after him, we will have the CEO, founder of Been Verified, and another well known actor who's been on TV, like with shows like Gotham, House of Cards, Law and Order, and more. But without further ado, I want to introduce you all to the hero who is revolutionizing how we see the world as a founding partner in the creation of Google Glass, John Fisher, CEO, founder, Crowd Optic. Good morning to you, John. Good morning. I'm really excited to have you. Now, I know what CrowdOptic is, but we need to share with all of our listeners exactly what CrowdOptic is, what it does, and most importantly, who it helps. Well, thank you for uh, a moment this morning. Uh, CrowdOptic is uh, actually a new form of uh, triangulation that, of course, has been around since uh, Pythagoras, and I think the last major uh, iteration was uh, more or less when I was born uh, more than 40 years ago uh, with the uh, invention of, uh, of GPS, um, that is, uh, for example, satellites uh, looking down to find the location of your device. Uh, what crowd optic is, if you can imagine it, is um, devices, let's say, looking forward. Uh, maybe you're uh, raising your uh, mobile phones in the air as a crowd to take pictures and videos of something significant, or maybe you're looking at the same thing while you're wearing smart glasses uh, or drones flying around uh, uh, an area. A crowd optic understands where all of these devices are looking uh, in common in real time. So every company in the world has the location of uh, devices via uh, GPS, uh, for example. CrowdOptic is the focus of where the devices are aimed, something fundamentally different. And with that type of context, uh, you can do some amazing things uh, in the proliferation of wearable and, and Internet of Things. And you could reach John Fisher at CrowdOptic.com. That's C-R-O-W-D-O-P-T-I-C.com. Now, what technology, what areas uh, does CrowdOptic focus on now then? What industries? Industries uh, include sports and entertainment. For example, the great uh, Denver Broncos, who just won it all, are a key client of ours, and they use uh, our uh, software uh, on uh, devices to uh, better broadcast uh, uh, football games from the sidelines, people wearing glasses or uh, other type of uh, uh, cameras. Uh, If you know where they're all looking uh, at the action and in common in real time, you can algorithmically select the best views for posting on social uh, or uh, even the jumbotron in stadiums, things like that. So that's one uh, interesting application. Uh, another is uh, uh, the largest uh, police force in the world, uh, actually in China, uh, uses our uh, uh, applications to uh, understand uh, uh, activity in these uh, great cities of theirs, where uh, traffic police are looking in common for uh, new incident detection and anomaly response. Uh, that's some really interesting stuff. Uh, Also, uh, we're very deeply involved in uh, medicine, in operating rooms, and in ambulances. Uh, You see surgeons and uh, and, uh, uh, watchers looking over uh, the same patient in the operating room, and we can give uh, that perspective from multiple angles uh, in real time. Sometimes it's very difficult to do. Sometimes downtime or latency or any video quality is uh, uh, something that absolutely can't happen during a surgery. So with this type of context, we can uh, unite the devices in this way and provide for uh, best-of-breed live streaming. And that's really what, from a productization standpoint, that's what unites what we're doing in this company. Think of us as live streaming uh, from uh, various uh, devices and using this the context, for example, to pick the best uh, live streams. 
That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. You're listening Thank to you. Alliance's Heroes on Money Radio, AM 1510 and FM 99.3. Are you a hero in business? Go to alliances.com, the place where entrepreneurs align. That's E L I A N C E S.com. And you can reach John Fisher, CEO of CrowdOptic, by going to crowdoptic.com. He is revolutionizing the world as a founding partner in the creation of this Google Glass and incorporating it in. In fact, I got to ask you, John, how did you even come up with the idea of being able to start this business? I mean, you, you, you and you started so many other businesses, but particularly this one. Well, we uh, sold our last company to Oracle, and that was quite a, um, a moment in time for uh, the engineering team. And I had been together, actually, uh, uh, many of us for approaching 20 years, so that's uh, 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 interesting stuff. You don't see uh, those type of cohesive teams so much these days. Uh, founders are too busy suing each other and uh, you know building things uh, that are a little more uh, opportunistic. But uh, the team and I have been together uh, uh, since the late 90s, and the Oracle transaction was a, a crowning uh, achievement in our career. And really in the water over there, uh, especially with, um, with Larry, is the whole uh, yachting and boating uh, uh, formula. And of course, the America's Cup was out in San Francisco this last season. It was an amazing thing. And so uh, the family and I are, are uh, based uh, actually on the water in, in the Bay Area. And uh, you watch these fantastic boats sail by. Uh, and uh, years ago, I was really interested in simply aiming my phone uh, at a boat uh, to get more information about it. The smart glasses really didn't exist uh, back then. And to get any more information, I would have to go to a 2D interface. I'd have to look up the boat. Uh, uh, and see where it is on its heading, and then maybe uh, uh, investigate. There was really no technology for a computer to understand uh, where I was aiming my device. And as I thought more about it, it's very difficult to tell a computer where along a line of sight that boat is. I could be looking 10 feet in front of me, 100 feet, 10 miles ahead, and the computer sometimes doesn't know the difference. So I figured you needed a second line of sight. Uh, by definition, triangulation could then pinpoint the boat even while it was moving. Uh, et cetera. And that's where this new form of triangulation was born. And I figured that if you had this as a new uh, point of significance in the world, I mean, if you think about it, any time there's breaking news in your business, uh, people are you know, snapping pictures or soon will be wearing smart glasses years from now and will be live streaming that way. And if you know where multiple people are pointing their devices in real time, uh, the Twitters of the world, the Facebooks of the world. This is a new signal, a, a new way to understand the world uh, algorithmically at the at the machine level. And it's exciting to think about it that way. And do you see it evolving as far as do you eventually see everyone who's online using this? I mean, is is that is that kind of what is you, how you see things evolving? No, I don't uh, uh, speak that way. I think that's difficult to uh, you know to comprehend. And and we have. Uh, you know, bold uh, visions, and we're very uh, strategic in how we build our companies. But no, we don't think that it it, uh, uh, it reaches everywhere. And you know, millions of people, uh, uh, such as y yourself, use what we built last time, which was the Oracle transaction. Anytime you log into an online banking account, you're likely using uh, what we did. So that that has a, a lot of reach. But no, I think CrowdOptic will um, you know attach uh, really to a fundamental platform, and then I think it will be used contextually. Uh, in whether it be major phones or, or glasses or thereabouts. And yes, it'll, it'll have a lot of reach. I don't think everyone in the world will use it one day, but I think one day it will be, uh, whether anonymous, whether white-labeled, or whether conspicuous, I think it'll represent, uh, again, everyone has the location of the device. It'll, it'll represent the focus of the device, where we're looking. Uh, if we're walking through Times Square or if we're walking through a, a casino or a, uh, a shopping center, you know, what's commanding our attention? How does that affect advertising? And I think all of that uh, will, will come to bear. And I think uh, the partners that we're integrating with right now and the clients that we have, uh, top sports, top medical technology, hospitals, uh, as I said, even police forces and fire and first responders, uh, we're really getting our, our sea legs in terms of how to begin to productize uh, fundamental technology like this. And, John, we've got a uh, little less than one minute left, but there's one more question that I've got to ask you. You know, you're, very, you're, you're well known for making accurate predictions about the U.S. economy. So what I'd like to know is, is can you give us a prediction now? And or if not, can you give us a prediction of how you see new startups perhaps uh, or, or other, other startups, other businesses, any advice that you can give to those starting a business? 
Yeah, well, I made a prediction that got a lot of attention last time, uh, right before uh, and during the financial crisis. And I uh, look at this stuff because it's very difficult to run ventures uh, while you're getting knocked over the head, you know, in between the uh, uh, financial crisis. So I take it seriously, and I don't like uh, a lot of what I'm seeing uh, these days. I think there's a big disconnect between the fundamentals of the market and uh, uh, and some other factors. So I very much hope that we're not in for another uh another bat, so to speak, and how that affects startups and financing. Well, we've all been through that decade after a decade, and you hate to see that as well. Well, I appreciate it. on that note. No, I appreciate it. Listen, John, you're a hero. Keep doing what you're doing. And when we return, we're going to have the CEO founder of Been Verified, the number one first online background check platform. And thank you again to Loopy Docs and Design Glue, our producer at Alliances, when we return.